Places meant to mourn those we've lost turned into crime scenes as the gun violence already plaguing our streets has now bled into our cemeteries. The latest, just a few hours ago on Cleveland's east side. That's where a woman was shot at East 116th and Coates, right near Calvary Cemetery. Our crews finding multiple shell casings on scene. EMS telling us tonight they took the woman to a local hospital in critical condition. A cemetery also the scene of a shooting during another violent weekend in Akron, one that ended with six people shot and one man dead. It's a street code and everything like that, but until it touches your family, you'll never know how bad it hurts. News, News 5's Emily Hamilton spoke with city officials and grieving families who say this weekend was not an isolated incident. Instead, sadly, this is becoming the new normal in Akron. A memorial grows on Neptune Avenue for 17-year-old Davion Frazier after he was murdered there back in April. Investigators say officers arrested Frazier's accused killer after he fled the scene of the fatal shooting at Mount Peace Cemetery Friday night. We all have to put ourselves in the shoes of those victims' families, their mothers, their fathers, their sisters, their brothers, their grandparents. Vivian Powers knows that grief all too well. This is not a video game. You don't lose a life and start all over with a new one. When you're gone, you're gone. After her brother Brian was killed in Akron a year ago this month. We're still working really hard to get answers. And I know there's a lot going on in Akron. A lot of, lot of shootings, a lot of murders. Gun violence. Until we address it in a meaningful way, um, it's only going to continue. That left six people shot and one man dead in the city of Akron since Friday. Who goes to a cemetery and shoots up a cemetery where people are there paying respects to their loved ones? That's that's very concerning. Ward 5 Councilwoman Tara Sample says there are a number of contributing factors. And these young people are getting their hands on guns for what, whatever way they're getting them. There's too many of them with them. Additionally, she says the Akron Police Gun Violence Unit is strained. They have to be strapped by now because every weekend, every day, all you hear about is gun violence right now. Families in mourning without closure are calling for those with information to speak up. That little no snitching thing. People say it until it hit home, until it hits your family. Sample says street justice and an unspoken no snitching policy is to blame for standstill investigations in the city. Don't go and hug your the, your friend's mother when she's in grief because she's lost her child. Will you know or have an idea who may have taken her child's life? Elected officials calling for parents of teens and young adults to ask questions and have tough conversations. Sometimes you got to go in your kids' rooms and see what's going on. Sometimes you got to go in, 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 their, in their backpacks to see what's going on. Reporting in Akron, Emily Hamilton, News 5.